stand in a site that's 1,000 or 2,000 years old. You can feel underneath you the stones they were walking on and see the birds and the animals that they would have hunted. You can imagine yourself living there and you see why they did and you could really kind of attach emotionally to these people who had been there before you. Lake 11 started in Kagluptuk, Nunavut, which is actually the westernmost community in Nunavut. We had a great day, um, not just visiting the community, being really welcomed by the rangers, by the mayor. Most of the team went on a 12 kilometer hike to the Bloody Falls. Governor General of Canada, David Johnson, and his wife Sharon joined us. And that was pretty special. We're just thrilled to have you both here and to be a part of this. And we get to keep you for three or four days. We're very excited about being with you for the next three days. We're just going to enjoy ourselves some more. So thank you very much. After leaving Kugluktuk, we headed north to Bernard Harbor. We went ashore to explore an old RCMP station. There's still the old building there. And lots of remains and artifacts scattered all over the landing site there. We visited all those sites and then moved on to an island named Sutton Island. Just kind of guided by the experience of one person on board named Roger who had been stranded there for about three months uh, when he was five uh, with his family. They'd sheltered from a storm there and had their boat destroyed uh, by the weather. From the bow of the boat, I'm looking straight down to the shore here. I'm really excited they brought me here. To pull up on that shore and to see Roger's excitement of him going, wow! I can't believe that we're pulling into this bay on a ship. My mom and dad would be so excited. That was worth absolutely everything. We have a discovery. What's in there? We don't know yet. In the rocks at the bottom of this four foot high cairn was a rusty tin can. There's a message here. No way. There was a note, a paper note, in pretty good condition, and we unfolded it, and it was a letter from a gentleman named Captain Tom Campsell. Found shelter here yeah, from we... a terrible storm on August 23rd, 1986, in the year of our Lord. Comme on avait avec nous le gouverneur général, on lui a dit ben, « peut-être lui répondre ». Donc là, c'était vraiment un moment magique. Qui a un papier, qui a un crayon, on trouve ça, on écrit, on griffonne, et puis euh, le gouverneur général a laissé euh, sa trace. « says, gathered at this cairn to watch a glorious sunset in the west. David Johnston, Governor General of Canada, September 4, 2017, with 20 great people from the Polar Prince and the C3. Um, expedition celebrating Canada's 150th birthday. And the way we get it. Well, we got our message we in sure there. Did. Yeah. We sure we did. We sure did, Roger. Woo we continued west from Sutton Island down to a place called Pierce Point Harbor. We got the kayaks and the paddle boards out. It was just a beautiful, beautiful day. Being in the kayak, which was like a replica of uh, what the Inuit used, just brought me back to my ancestors and how hard they worked and how brave they were and how resilient they were. I think meeting Holvac was one of my highlights. She's the Inuit tattoo artist. 
She's trying to bring a tradition back that was almost lost. So just meeting her and hearing her story has been really like important for me. We discovered this amazing old Thule site with earthen homes on the edge of the ocean. It was one of the most intriguing and powerful places I think I've ever been. Knowing that we were walking in the footsteps of people that may have lived there several thousand years ago, really exciting for everybody. We found a beautiful slate ulu that was just kind of pulling out of the bank and we were able to show that around and um, it was a, a red slate that was still sharp 600 years later. For a lot of people up here, it's been, a, it's been jarring to, to be confronted by that depth of history. It was kind of overwhelming. It was also very sad. I was feeling so many different emotions because these are something that we should be learning about in school. That's something in our backyard in our own country. We went to Politak, the second community on Leg 11. We were able to uh, meet a lot of the artisans and buy some of their artwork. We had a lunch with the community. Politak is where we bid farewell to Governor General David Johnston and Sharon Johnston. It was hard to see them go because they'd really become part of our team and our family and they brought so much knowledge and energy and, and passion to our team. So a voyage like this is a continual journey of discovery for me. Our eyes are just widened um, and we become people who take these experiences and I think reinterpret them to those 99% of Canadians who've never seen the North. I just will go away with a feeling that we have something very, very special within our country with this population of people who go back historically so far and have things to tell us. I will seek more of that knowledge. We um, continued our journey up around Cape Perry. The winds really picked up that night, the seas got a bit choppy. So we decided to take a shelter in a place called Wise Bay on the west side of Cape Perry. We had to wait out that storm for almost 36 hours in Wise Bay. It gave us an opportunity though to have a lot of presentations and workshops on board and to really have the team share a lot of their, their talents, their skills, their knowledge. <laughs> Normally when you see a drum, you are hitting the middle, but with the Inuit drum, it's completely different. Your wrists will go back and forth, back and forth. I think what Canada C3 has really provided for a lot of its passengers and, and for hopefully Canada as a whole is, is a certain space that we don't usually find in our, our everyday lives. Um, really talk to other people and to feel their environment and to gain different perspectives and meditate on what their relationship with this, with this country is. The majority of my family has gone to residential school. <laughs> A lot of them lost their lives because of it. It's really tough to talk about reconciliation because a lot of the times I feel angry. But at the same time, it's something that I do want. I think coming here I did have like apprehension and then having people tell me that I maybe shouldn't be coming on a journey like this because it's a celebration of 150. But I don't know, I, f I feel like it's important because it's creating a space and a safe place, a space to, to talk about these things. I was told that the depth of the wounds that these people had when we talk about pensioners, the schools that have frequented them. It's something that has profoundly touched me. And it's something that we ignore or that we 
à peine connaissance et on a à peine effleuré le sujet. Why somebody who was born in Canada in 1965, why I don't know about it? What, what has transpired that kept that story uh, away from myself and from millions of Canadians? I didn't know. And I feel awful that I can't speak to you with, with knowledge of what our Indigenous people went through. There's something very, very positive of people sharing their experiences, which people are doing freely. There's a kind of intimacy that comes from feeling uh, there's no harm done by, by uh, speaking the truth and telling you how you feel things. Creating that relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous is so important in order to reconcile so that we can move forward and, um, yeah, to make a, a brighter future for Canada. <laughs> Leg 11 concluded in Tuktoyaktuk, um, a really special place with a really wonderful community. Thank you all for coming out. We appreciate your time to come to Tuk. Getting to Tuktoyaktuk marks the 100th day of the journey since we left Toronto on the 1st of June. I think there is a sense of achievement that we've made it this far and it's been such a great success. But we also know uh, there's still a lot more to come and uh, we're really excited about, about the next 50 days as we uh, complete legs 12 to 15.